So what are these magic phrases? There are six main ones they zeroed in on. FOMO itself, obviously. Then things like buy stock, get rich quick. Also, missed out, trending now, and interestingly, Bitcoin price. Okay, that makes sense given the volatility there. Yeah. Why those specific six, though? Well, each one seems to tap into a different facet of that FOMO feeling. Buy stock shows that active urge to jump in, get rich quick. Well, that speaks for itself. The hope for fast, maybe speculative gains. I missed out. That's the regret side. Exactly. Trending now catches that social pressure, wanting to be part of the conversation, part of the action. And Bitcoin, well, its price action often reflects really high stakes speculation. Plus, these terms pop up a lot in financial news when they talk about these kinds of market behaviors. Got it. So you've got the search volumes for these six terms month by month. How do you turn that into one single index number? It's not just adding them up raw. First, they standardize the volume for each term. This basically puts them all on the same scale. A super common term like maybe Bitcoin price doesn't just drown out everything else. Okay. Levels the playing field. Precisely. Then they sum up those standardized scores for all six terms for each month. And the final step is just rescaling it so the index value always stays below 100, just makes it easier to track consistently over time. 